Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the World of Wheels out in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out to a World of Wheels show, you'll see some amazing cars. And today's amazing car, Bob Starzak, my friend, is back with another great car. Bob, tell us what you brought today. I have a 1948 Super Sedan Net Retro Rod. Sedan Net Retro Rod. And this color on this one? is The top is Maserati green and the bottom is Jaguar. <laughs> ah, this car custom, will make this custom. car will make some people green with envy. How much have how long have you had this car? I've had the car four years and it just went through uh, about a year and a half restoration. And how does the wife like it, Brian? She, she drove it. We put twelve thousand miles on it, uh, about two and a half years. Step right alongside, all right. and let's feature that. First of all, wow, that's got a presence and a half. Let me. No further ado, step over here and show that. That's nice, Bob. That's real nice. Bob, you don't disappoint. You don't disappoint. Enjoy Check my Buicks, I always have. <laughs> Enjoy my Buicks, I always my have. My wife enjoys it too, so that makes it that helps. Those are called bomb sites. The bomb site. The split window. You'll see the mirrors on both sides. Wow, look at the grill. The toothy grill on that. <laughs> Come on alongside me, Bob. So let's stand back and catch this one with us. Come on back, Bob. And we'll get that one in there right. Tell me about that back end. I mean, talk about it. It looks like an old freight, or old, uh, this, not a freight train, a, a, this a car super is, liner. This car has got no body modifications on it besides having a uh, power antenna in one fender. Really? It's only been lower because it has a different frame and suspension. All the little touches. I mean, look at the door handle, the trim around the window. That's actually how you open the hood. That's how you open the hood. And we're going to show that in a second. Side hinge hood. Open Side hinge, hinge hood. Open either way. Even the curve. Nice. Let's show the back. I think this is my favorite view of this car. Oh, wow. modifications, uh, 1940s tips on there with the, actually 1922 Buick signs. The Buick. Exhaust tips. That's a piece of jewelry right there. Yeah, it's a third brake light in the car. Uh, sure. Oh yeah, Come cool. On. Yeah, let me just show the whole back end. Do that one more time, please. Oh, yeah, very cool. Oh, that didn't do that normally. No. No. Okay. Came out with the lights. And then there's this wonderful hinge. Can we show them what's? Uh, let me let me take one step back. See if I can get that whole back end in there. It does have backup lights, and they show quite a bit. Wow. Can you see out the back window much or no? Oh, yeah. A okay. Little bit. A little bit. All right. Let's open up the... Uh, these are your backup lights. Yep. And that custom trunk. That's nice. I got the Super in there. The trunk is all inlaid to where it matches the interior. That looks... Uh, these are these are just regular belts, but underneath there is so I can get access to my fuel tank. Let's take a look in the interior, shall we? Good. And nice wood grain. That's nice. metal. Is that right? That's but it's metal. just got the uh, wood grain effect. Wood grain effect. All the way through the whole interior 
Every one of the frame is done like that. That was the fact they used to do back in the 40s and all the time. Yeah. 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 How are you doing? Fine. Here's your back window view. The dashboard is exactly how it was, but it's been updated to 12 volts. Gauges. The radio actually works. It's been updated to AM, FM. Doesn't work. <laughs> That's okay. The clock has some kind of an odometer on it. What's That's the clock. Really? It just has Buick in there. They made it the same size as the has a speedometer when they put a clock in there. Ah yes, Buick you see in over there. Here? Same thing. Yep, I do see it. Same gauge. Lean across opportunity. your leather seats here. Let's take a look under the hood. Double side opening. Well, before you do that, let me just show these rims too. Those are pretty cool. Those are just the bullet hub caps that they have. They're just steely wheels. All right, let's show this opens like that. Go ahead. It opens either way. And it's actually, to be honest, it's actually a 350 LT1 motor out of a 90, 93 Roadmaster. Got it. Well, let's fire it up. Injected. We'll do 80 miles an hour on the highway, 20 miles to the gallon with the air going, air conditioning going. something fun for the channel. One more thing about the engine Please. over here. Yeah. This has got a ram air unit in it now. If you see here, snorkel on both sides. Okay. This used to be an air inlet to give air into the car. You see this? I do. I see, see the this whole... little thing right yep. here. We covered them up. Now I have a ram air unit. Ram air unit. Nicely done. Well, Bob, what a treat. Always good to see you. Thanks so much for sharing another amazing car on the channel. Thanks for being on my car today. Thank you.